सो हेलो एवरी वन यू आर वेलकम टू जॉब स्किल शेयर डॉट ओ आर जी एंड दिस इज योर ट्रेनर सोहेब हारून एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द स्मॉल वैली टॉपिक दैट इज सिक्योर शेल दैट इज नीडेड फॉर सिक्योर एक्सेस ऑफ योर रिमोट डिवाइसिस और डिवाइसिस इन योर प्रेमिसिस लाइक राउटर स्विचेज फायर वॉल्स सो वी विल बी using the practice lab topology for the same you can see over here the topology and we are going to work around this topology and we will try to focus on different scenarios by using this connection connectivity of router switches and the diagram so hereby you can see over here we have a cisco tool server that is connected to a access switch and then that access switch is connected to two core switches and those two core switches are then connected to routers so first of all we will try to get access of this n by access one switch using telnet or secure shell basically so we will be using secure shell to access this switch from the cisco tool server and i'm going to take you to practice lab and from where by we can begin our topology changes or the required configuration so you can see all the devices are powered on and i'm particularly talking about enva access one switch and the cisco tool server that is a windows server you can see it is connecting and we can log in with the any of the accounts so we can use administrator account and password is as follows so logging in with this username and password and we are now on the windows server and you can see over here we can check and verify the ip address given to the server from this command prompt as well so we can type the command ip config backslash all this will give give us the detail and you can see over here the ip address of this server is 192.168.16.10 and the default gateway is 192.168.16.1 and now we can move on to the nv access one switch this is the cisco switch would you like to enter the initial dialog configuration no and from here we can move on to the privilege mode and we can see what is the running configuration with the command show running config so you can make use of this these live router switches to get hands on to get to know the commands and build topology and rectify and troubleshoot the issues here by you can see over here the configuration over here on the switch there is no ip on the interface vlan 1 so first of all we can give this switch an ip address so that for that we will use interface vlan 1 that is the default vlan ip address this vlan should would be used as management so that we can access the switch we are giving it ip address 192.168.16.20 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 so this will give us the subnet mask and no shirt to bring up this interface this is now up we can ping this from the server itself so we can ping this pinging this server so we are going to ping the switch from the server so ip is 192168 
dot twenty set dot sixteen dot twenty So you can see ping is successful. Now to access this switch, we need to configure secure shell. For that, we need to give this switch a host name. First of all, host name. So host name is nyxs1. Then IP domain, practice labs. So that, that is the second step. Practice labs dot com. IP domain. Practice labs dot com. Crypto key generate RSA. So this will generate a key, and we can make this key. A one zero two four bits. This will now generate secure key. So that has been now secure shell has been enabled. For remote access line which is by zero twelve fifteen. Username should be login local. Username. So for username we need to get out of this config dash line username cisco and password is also cisco transport line vty 015 transport input should be only using secure shell done moving on to the server again so now we have a tool that is known as putty by using putty we can access the router or switch using secure shell or telnet we will be using secure shell the IP of the switch is as follows 192.168 16 dot 20 you can see the security alert this means we are able to access the switch using putty and the password you, you can, we can log in with the local username and password Cisco Cisco that we set and we are now able to access the switch you can see over here and access one switch so this is how we configure the putty and secure shell now we can also enable the enable password basically for that enable enable secret make it as cisco123 so this password will get us to the privilege mode we are now back to the cisco tool server so basically if your switch is at a remote location we need to access the switch if you have connectivity we can access the switch using this putty and secure shell is the secure connection to get your get the access of your switch to troubleshoot to configure to make any changes to that so now we already have the access we can move into the privilege mode and this will ask for the password and the password we set was cisco123 for that is the enable secret password now we enter the password we are here 
So this is how we configure the basic access to the switch or router. The same configuration can be applied to router as well. Thank you.